Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome back to another Fallout 4 mod bundle. Now today we are taking another look at everybody's favorite category and that is immersion mods. That's right, we have some more mods to help increase the realism in your game and let you get fully immersed into what you're doing. And we have a lot of really cool ones. For starters, we have a pretty recent release, and that's going to be IHO, Immersive Hunting Overhaul, by Cosmonaut. Now, we did cover this one a while back on the channel, but it is still a great mod and has some really cool features and some new updates that make it even better. So, in short, what this mod is going to do is completely overhaul the way that you're going to go about getting food for your character, and now adds a proper way to hunt and dispose of carcasses of the animals that you kill. The biggest notable change is that when you head over to any animal, so let's say a rad stag, and once you kill it, rather than just looting the corpse, now you actually need to break it down. So you're going to need a sharp object, something like a knife or a machete, which will allow you to harvest the corpse and will give you the different materials you need. For example, leather, meat, bones, etc. And there are other mods that do this as well, but the cool thing about this one is that it does have custom animations that play when you do it, which is just a nice little immersive touch. And that alone would be a really cool mod, but this mod does so much more. Additionally, not only does this work on animals, but you can do it on humans as well, if you have the cannibal perk, as well as on robots, which allows you to disassemble the robots. Rather than using a knife, though, you're going to need to craft the disassembly wrench, which makes a whole lot of sense. So it'll play a nice little animation, you'll disassemble the robot, and you'll get the parts that you would normally get when looting the robot. Super cool. Another nice feature added with this mod is the ability to dispose of bodies with the newly added shovel item. So, once you're done looting all of the items off of said enemy, you can now just whack it with your shovel and it will dispose of it. This is great for not only cleaning up settlements, but just getting rid of any bodies that you don't want around cluttering up your wasteland. Now, as this is a survival focused mod, one other big change that it does make is to all of the cooking and food items. Pretty much all of the food items have had their stats changed. Foods are no longer focused on healing. While they do heal you a little bit, it will not be nearly as much as they used to. So now you will need to focus on getting medicine to heal your character, whereas foods are used to get your different passive buffs. Additionally, pretty much all food is irradiated. You can no longer cook the radiation out of food as that never really made a whole lot of sense. So even after you cook the food, there will still be radiation, so it's definitely worth getting that lead belly perk. And the last big change is the way that recipes work when it comes to cooking these different food items. For starters, when you start the game, you will only have a few different recipes that you know how to cook, but you can go and unlock new recipes by finding the Gourmand of the Commonwealth magazines, which can be found at different vendors and in different locations. This makes for a fun and immersive way to find new recipe items so that your character can get better at cooking. Definitely a wonderful overhaul to the survival part of the game, especially when it comes to gathering your different food items. This is a must have if you're going for a true survival overhaul, especially if you want to have an emphasis on hunting. The next mod we're checking out is going to be Wasteland Wound Care by Patty Garcia. Now I think this is a great pair for the immersive hunting overhaul mod. What Wasteland Wound Care is going to do is add a ton of new medicine items that should just be in Fallout 4. Rather than relying solely on stim packs, now you have a bunch of other options added to the world that you can use to heal your character. Now, since Immersive Hunting Overhaul is going to reduce the healing factor of food, using this alongside it will help to add in more healing items to kind of make up for that loss. The idea here is that this is going to make stim packs more rare, but it's going to have a ton of new healing items that are a little bit less effective than stim packs, but some have bonus effects. For starters, there are a bunch of different bandages, and these are just going to be pretty simple. They're going to restore HP. A dirty rag bandage is going to restore 5 HP for 200 seconds, but it is also going to give you radiation and have a very high risk of disease in survival mode. There's also the clean rag bandage, which is going to do almost double and restore 9 HP in 200 seconds and only has a moderate disease risk. And then there are sterile bandages, which will restore 15 HP and have no disease risk. So as you can see, there are different tiers to the different healing items here, which make for some cool effects. But this mod isn't all bandages. There's even new drugs like Raider Rat Out, which is going to restore some of your radiation damage as well as add some radiation resistance, but it's going to do some damage to your overall HP and even give you minus three perception because again, this is a Raider Chem. There's also new med kits and surgery kits, which are going to not only add HP, but even restore some of your limb damage, which is a nice little effect. You do have Stim Crack, which is about the same as a Stim Pack, but it is addictive and has a risk of disease. There are expired stim packs, diluted stim packs, and even super stim packs, which are better 
just like the old stim packs from New Vegas and Fallout 3, these will be twice as effective as normal stim packs, but it's going to give you minus one strength. Any mod that adds to the variety of the items that you can find in the level list is a big plus for me. I love having different options and running into the same thing over and over and over again just isn't super immersive. So having all of these new healing options I think is a great idea and I didn't even begin to cover every single one added in this pack. So definitely worth checking this one out. Go out there and see what you find in all those medical kits. You'll be surprised at some of the things that you might find. And really quick, one big positive with this mod is it does have a patch available for immersive animation framework, which makes this a really nice pickup for that extra immersion factor. Now, speaking of mods that work really well with immersive animation framework, we have Consume Without Pickup, a mod by Mad Rabbit X, and this does exactly what it sounds like. This is going to allow you to consume items without picking them up, much like Fallout 76. So simply head over to any aid item like a stim pack or a bottle of water and there will be a new option. You can either press E to pick it up or you can press R to use it. And if you're using something like I said, like animation framework, when you press R to use it, you'll actually use the item physically. You pick it up right off the table and use it just like your character would, which is just super immersive and so far from what we get in the vanilla game. I always hated the fact that the only aid item that was animated was the stim pack, and now having immersive animation framework pairing with so many mods like this is just a dream come true. This is going to be really great for combat scenarios. If you need to pick up an item really fast, you see a stim pack on the table and you don't want to have to pick it up and then fumble through your inventory, you can just run over to it, press R, and your character will take it right off the bat, which is just super cool and useful. And again, immersive. This is something that you would do. You're not throwing every single item into your pocket. Sometimes your guy's thirsty and he just needs to drink that water right now. And this mod's going to let you do that. Moving along with our immersive docket of mods, we have the right-handed hunting rifle by AzXAz. As. Now, this is an immersion problem really only available for gun nuts people who notice the very minor inconsistencies with Fallout 4's weapon sandbox. Now there are a handful of weapons with left-handed bolts, and left-handed bolts aren't exactly uncommon in the weapons world, however they are when it comes to bolt action rifles. You may find left-handed bolts on weapons like FN's arsenal, like the P90 or the SCAR, but on a bolt action rifle, you're gonna be bolting that with your right hand unless your character is left-handed, and if that's the case then this mod's not for you. But for all of you normal right-handed folk, this mod is going to not only reanimate the bolt to be right-handed, but it's also going to change the mesh of the bolt action rifle to have a proper cutout for the bolt itself. If Fallout 4 had continued using the hunting rifle model from past Fallout games, this wouldn't even be an issue, as you could just flip the bolt very simply and you wouldn't need to make any other mesh edits. But for some reason, they chose to use a model that has a cutout for the bolt to go into, and it's on the left side. But like I said, this mod's going to fix that, put it on the right side, and make everything work as it should for a bolt action hunting rifle. This is a minor nitpick for some, but it's a huge deal breaker for others, so this is definitely worth picking up if it's something that has been gnawing at you for a very long time. And then finally, for even more immersion, we have the Reverb and Ambience Overhaul by MM137. Now, for most people, this is probably a staple in their load order, but as more and more people join the Fallout community, it's worth shedding some light on some of these older mods that you may not know about. What Reverb and Ambience Overhaul is going to do is add a really immersive suite of sounds and effects to the game. This is going to make it so that the sounds behave correctly depending on the environment that you are in. When you shoot a weapon outside, you will hear the bullet crack and expand throughout the air for a very long distance. When you're inside, weapons are very loud and will have a ton of reverb. It's really hard to show this mod off without just letting it play for you, so I'm going to go ahead and let some audio play so that you can hear the changes yourself. So yeah, as you can see, this makes a huge difference over the vanilla sound in the game. This isn't going to actually change any of the vanilla sounds, but rather how they play with the world around them. And this is compatible with different sound mods. So if you're using something that replaces audio, it will work with this mod, which is a huge plus and just helps with the quality of life available in this mod. This is definitely one that never leaves my load order and I honestly can't live without it. 
So with that, we're going to go ahead and wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed even more immersion mods. We've done this a few times, but I'm always happy to do more as immersion is one of my favorite categories in mods as well. So let me know if you'd like to see more videos just like this one. Otherwise, let me know if you have any other mod bundles you'd like to see. I want to get back to doing these regularly as they are one of my favorite series to produce. Even though they take a little while, they're super fun and I love checking out the different categories of mods out there. So if you have any ideas, go ahead and let me know down below. With that though, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to drop a rating, subscribe if you haven't already for more videos just like this, check the links in the description for all of the mods available in this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace! And really quick, I'd like to make a shout out to all of our patrons. Your donations are greatly appreciated and really help to support the channel and videos just like this one. So again, thank you!